Boys and girls, gather around. Let's talk about something controversial. Let's talk about Elon Musk. No, 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 not the man himself. I mean, he's certainly a peculiar character. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> but no, despite all the things he might or might not do that many, myself included, disagree with, I want to talk about one thing that he does seem to have pretty damn clear. So gather around, I said. Today, we will talk about the space race. You see, once upon a time, you had major world powers, by which I mean the Soviets and the Americans, racing to reach the moon. We won't go into details about what that race was really about. <coughs> but the end game was clear. Showing off some space muscles, conquering the unknown regions, literally going beyond what, until then, was our wildest dreams. While there were obvious socio-political connotations to the entire thing, <coughs> it was essentially a very human race for progress. Back then, anyway. Now? Well, now we have people like Bezos and Branson trying to conquer space for commercial purposes. Oh, they can both claim they're doing it because of more noble aspirations, but that's bollocks. Their race is a space tourism race. So enter Elon Musk and his SpaceX. The man is obsessed with the letter X. X marks the spot, I guess. And his spot, his ultimate spot, as he often says, is Mars, the red planet. A new home for humanity. An extension of our current living arrangements, you see. Which, let's be honest, boys and girls, isn't infinite. There's only so much space, so many resources, even a given amount of time. Even if that time measure seems vast to our very limited mortal existence. So back in the day, you had the United States and the Soviet Union in a race against each other for socio-political reasons. Nowadays, you have Virgin and the phallic blue origin racing each other for commercial reasons. If you were to ask any of them what the space race is about and have them answer honestly, they'd say it's about beating the other. Now, I'm not saying Elon Musk isn't thinking in commercial terms. I mean, I'm sure he is. He's a businessman, after all. But he seems to be more than that, though. Even in all his other ventures, insane as some may seem, egocentric as others clearly are, he still seems to have a focus that might go beyond making money. At least, I think, with this particular topic, that's the case. Why, you ask? I think Elon Musk understands what he space race is really about. You see, while you have your Bransons and Bezoses squabbling to make bank, racing against each other, well, Elon Musk seems to be engaged in a different race. I believe Musk knows that the space race is a race against time. Planet Earth might be enough for now, but one day it won't be. We need to go beyond. We need to start thinking like the dreamers of old and aspire to reach places beyond our wildest imaginations. When did we stop being dreamers? When did people like Musk become the measure of our capacity to envision? I can't answer that. But facts are facts, and Elon Musk, when it comes to the space race, seems pretty clear on what needs to be done. So, boys and girls, judge not lest ye be judged, or something along those lines. Actually, judge away all you want. Musk is a divisive chap. But when it comes to the space race, know the man knows his stuff. Mars. Mars is the goal. But know that Mars isn't just a planet. It's a dream. Humanity's dream of reaching the stars. A dream we seem to have lost over time, but are now racing to regain. Not just Musk's dream. Humanity's. Cheers!